A historic and heavily trafficked bridge in need of repairs is finally getting them. It's the T Bridge in Gaffney. It's been around since 1919. State appropriated a half million dollars for major renovations. 7 News' Melanie Palmer tells us what we know about the project so far. The T-Bridge in Gaffney is a unique one. Leaders with the local government here tell me there's only one other bridge like it in the entire world. But you can see the wear this bridge has endured through the years like these busted rails and now change is finally coming. This is a bridge a lot of people in Gaffney will tell you they've been over at least once. I've heard a lot about growing up. Especially when trains come through town. When the train comes through, and that's the only time I've actually gone across it. It's a shortcut instead of waiting for the caboose, even for emergency personnel. When we use it all the time um, due to the number of trains that come through Gaffney. Do you drive over that T-Bridge very often? Three or four times a day. But that doesn't mean Mike Cox likes the view. I go over it. Yeah. I'm hoping it doesn't collapse. He's talking about the bridge showing its age. Structurally, it's OK. It's really a lot of cosmetics. Um, and then there's a lot of structural damage as far as for walking traffic. That includes rusted out rails, decaying posts, uneven sidewalks, and crumbling asphalt on the road. There's been a push to fix it for years, but the funds haven't always been there. Until now. Today, uh, the $500,000 for the, the bridge that's, been, uh, approved. That's half a million bucks from the state. It's all happening through help from state lawmakers like Senator Harvey Peeler. These funds will primarily target cosmetic issues like the sidewalks, railings, and resurfacing. Across up here at Hyatt. All things that impact Mike Cox, who, other than driving across the bridge, you stand up there when a train's coming fast and you can feel the suction. It's the kids love doing it. I spent time enjoying the sidewalks that are on that to-do list. Altogether, this is a one and a half million dollar project. The other funds are coming from the city and federal grants. We don't know right now when everything's set to get started. The city administrator tells us he'll be sitting down with the DOT Thursday morning to iron out all the details and an exact timeline. In Gaffney, Melanie Palmer, 7 News.